one now. All right, new shoe from Hoka. Take all my comments, everything I say with a big grain of salt because I've only done one run. That was my first run, only run, about 10 kilometers in the shoe. So that's it. Uh, easy pace run uh, with a little incline. So that's all the experience I've had. Plus, you know, a few days like walking around in it and just wearing it as a regular shoe, trying to break it in, feel it just a little bit. Components here, we have a big, wide, very wide platform. Maybe you can see that pretty standard Hoka, but a big, thick, wide. We have the zonal placed uh, rubber uh, here, 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 and whole hybridation areas and then exposed EVA foam in the rest of the area. Uh, then we have the probably most distinctive feature right there. The swallow tail. I don't notice anything when I'm running. If you're kind of, if you're contacting, if you're striking at the midfoot, forefoot, I don't think you're going to notice this at all. I, it, to me, it looks like a gimmick. I don't think it's going to, you know, really do anything for you. The midsole, I don't really like the way it looks. I don't like the way the shoe overall looks, to be honest. Uh, we got the elf ear here. We got another kind of little pokey swallowtail here. We got some bends and curves in the midsole. Um, yeah, it's not really my taste, not really my thing. The colors on this one suck, frankly. It looks like a tropical bird or something. Uh, I'm not into that, but I'm sure they make other solid colorways and other kind of more normal colorways. Uh, the upper is quite nice, flexible heel uh it's got some shape to it but no plastic or really kind of firm overlays or anything in the heel pocket it does have that nice anatomical sort of padding looks very classy very nice this tongue is so huge and fat and comfortable uh like that very much i don't know how that's really gonna breathe or function with like a sweaty hot foot in a hot humid summer uh, it feels like a big duvet or a pillow or something like that on the top of my foot but yeah let's see tongue is gusseted I always like that uh, the mesh here is some kind of jacquard mesh uh, basically two layers of mesh put together one with these perforations these holes and then the other one just a thin traditional mesh on the inside relatively translucent as I look in the shoe I can see the light of the Sun a couple of high-vis uh, pieces up here. Overall, pretty standard mesh, uh, nothing special or that different. Uh, laces all normal. That's the whole shoe. So, my impressions. First, two words, confusing and mediocre. Now, it's confusing because Hoka shoes are usually known for soft cushion, lightweight. Uh, lightweight say relative to the amount of cushion and the size of the shoe physically uh, and then yeah just the cushion big stack height and usually soft sometimes a little bit springier firmer firmer uh, depending on the shoe this one it's not light I don't know what my size 12 weighs I'll weigh it put that on the screen however it's heavy it's heavy don't like that that's like a big markdown for me so then it's confusing. Usually the Hoka midsole, cushion, known for that soft cushion, great easy day shoe, long day shoe, or if you get into like the Rocket X, uh, Carbon X, a little bit more responsive, pop, zingy. Uh, this is none of those adjectives. Uh, this midsole is firm, but without a lot of responsiveness. It's kind of hard. It's not like hard like a, a traditional running shoe uh, with a thin midsole. It does have that big wad of midsole and this midsole is a little taller than the Clifton and a little less than the Bondi. It's big and yet it is much harder, much firmer than both of those midsoles and, and but without that responsiveness. So you have a big heavy clump of midsole under the foot uh, and a heavy overall shoe but without like the benefits or the pluses, the pros. Confusing you can tell I don't like it uh, I should put some more miles in uh, and give it like 100 miles 200 miles whatever and figure out the shoe completely but probably I will never get there uh, because I've just got other shoes to run in uh, I probably will run in this a little bit more I won't totally give up on it but it's not gonna be a go-to shoe like you can just feel that after one run even Hoka fans 
Like, I wonder who's going to get this. You, like, I run in the Arahi 6 right now. I'm loving it. It's like the new Clifton. I've had Cliftons before. I like those. I've had Hoka Trail Shoes, Speed Goat, Mafate. This is not at all like those shoes. It doesn't have that softness for easy days and that real comfort. And it doesn't have that responsiveness or springiness uh, for those kind of race efforts or like tempo, like whatever, hard, hard day efforts. And I just, I wonder, I wonder. So big question marks. That's all I can really say. That's the Kawana Hoka new shoe, gym slash running shoe. 